we're talking about Gloversville and its future. And everybody, uh, I think, realizes now that Gloversville has an enormous potential um, to transform itself from an old industrial city into a 21st century community that can attract people from all over the country. And uh, it's certainly not a hard sell, but we have to make Gloversville marketable. And uh, one of the aims of my administration is developing our neighborhoods uh, and our streetscape and our business community to be better than it's ever been. The main things about a community, about a real 21st century community, is the educational system. Uh, and I've often said that um, as a society, the most important thing we do is to nurture and educate the next generation of citizens. And so I'm here with the superintendent of schools, and um, there's so many things that the Gloversville and Large School di uh, District is doing uh, in-house, so many opportunities that students have in this school district. I agree. I'm, I'm, I, uh, I'm cautiously optimistic about the direction I feel like the district has taken. This, I've been here about 15, 16 months now, and mm -hmm. uh, I look back on some of the accomplishments in the last school year that I'm really proud of, and certainly the relationship that I, th I feel like we formed with, with the city, uh, not just yourself, but with your, your, uh, your chief of police, your fire chief, your, your head of tr transportation, Brent Warren, mm -hmm. um, the, the arrangement we have with the free transportation for students year-round, any time of the day throughout the city. Um, I think you and I agree that as one goes, as far as an entity, as the city goes, the district goes, and as the district goes, the city goes. Yeah, Our job is, we're the pipeline for the next workforce mm -hmm. for this city. And, and you know, when I graduated from Gloversville almost 30 years ago, I look back and realize that there's been a brain drain uh, taking place. A lot of the people who uh, go to college don't return to the community. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would really like to see, because as a person who did go to college and lived on the West Coast for a while, I came back and it's almost like rediscovering the place you grew up. Mm -hmm. And Gloversville Schools has always been the standard bearer uh, for schools in our region. It's one of the reasons I came here. I grew up in Northville and I came here because the opportunities that were available here that weren't available elsewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when I got here and I realized the number of course offerings that, say, Gloversville offers that are college credit bearing courses, we offer 20 classes on a yearly basis. Students can earn credits from Syracuse University, Rochester Institute of Technology, uh, SUNY Albany, and FM local college. Over 20 classes. There's six AP classes offered at any given time. The, wow. the extracurricular opportunities through clubs, sports teams, Gloversville offers an awful lot. and, and you know, the recent capital project has really uh, reimagined, you know, what the facility can, can, can be like. We are thrilled to be partnering with the city on things like the, the cleanup efforts that are going on. In a mm -hmm. couple of weeks, we have almost 100 students taking part in a, in a citywide cleanup effort. And that's great because that's, that's uh, students, you know, thinking globally, acting locally. And that's really yeah, what we want right. them to do. You know, we can't get anywhere without an enthusiastic population. And uh, I think people are really seeing that, uh, that Gloversville has a future, uh, a very bright future. We have students who uh, are, are, have come from sometimes difficult socioeconomic conditions. Mm -hmm. The opportunities are here for them. The, the support services for social emotional uh, well-being, teachers uh, inspiring kids by bringing the world to them through technology mm -hmm. or through class trips, exposure opportunities. Our band trips, uh, whether we're going to Washington, D.C., um, we're going to Pennsylvania this year. Mm -hmm. We have sports teams go competing in New York City uh, in the last year. You know, th any chance we get to have students interface with the world to realize there's a big world out there. Mm -hmm. And Gloversville, it doesn't mean you, you, have, you go out to the world or you stay in Gloversville. You can live here and compete globally, economically, with the technology available today. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's the beauty of having the best of both worlds. And I, I, I think our job is to create a savvy, hardworking, uh, ethical citizenry so that the economic uh, industries in this region have a great workforce to choose from. You know, uh, uh, Gloversville's future depends on growth, depends on our ability to grow the community, to increase its population, to attract uh, capable people who are willing to live here, raise their children here, 
start businesses here and invest in this community. And I, I can't imagine a place uh, better situated to attract uh, a large number of people in the, in the future. And so uh, with a super school district that we have and, and a community that's dynamic and moving forward, uh, I can't see where Gloversville can do anything but succeed in the future.